Good morning, everybody. So I just wanted to hop on really quick, and um, I knew that there was going to be some things that I was going to need to clarify from yesterday's video because it was like really such a mess. I was all over the place, and I went back and I watched it, and I was like, oh my goodness, Amber, like you really get torn up during this stuff. So um, I know that I had mentioned about that, uh, that policy, that insurance policy, and that I had called somebody from the coroner's office that had helped me previously with some of my, um, my grandfather's uh, estate stuff. So what ended up happening was I had contacted her and asked her to help me investigate it because I, did, I didn't know what else to do. So she investigated it. She called the insurance company. Um, she talked to them. I guess what was told to her was that because it was a Gerber life policy, so because it was purchased by the parents um, and there was Brandon never knew about it, um, so it didn't have any, what do you call it, beneficiaries. There were no beneficiaries that were listed on it. So because Gerber life... Um, they specialize in you know child policies the policy automatically reverts back to the parents who purchased it if there are no beneficiaries that are listed so um that's what ended up happening with that but the company gerber actually has the boys names and knows that the boys you know are are here um so if there is any you know way that they could you know help them out or I don't know exactly how it's going going to turn out. I don't know if um, they're fighting about this in court right now. Um, I had a friend that talks to the father, and she had let me know, you know, about all of this and what was going on, what, what, what the father had said about it. So I got that text message, and then um, and then later on, months later. Uh, a friend contacts me and she's like, I, I just talked to, you know, the dad and he was telling me, you know, about this policy and how he's fighting with the, the mom over it because there's a lot more to the story. But the mom had abandoned Brandon when he was a, a very, very young child. And um, so I guess she had been notified and he had been notified. And so they were fighting in court about it, but I did look it up on our court system and it doesn't look like there's a court case whatsoever. Anyhow, long story short, um, it reverts back to the parents. So the parents, you know, will receive that $500,000 benefit. And I guess, you know, really honestly, it's okay. You know, I mean, it's, it's theirs. Um, it doesn't belong to us. All I can hope is that maybe, maybe, um, the grandfather will have some compassion and some love for his grandchildren and maybe put a little bit of money away for them. Maybe they'll get a college fund out of it. Maybe they'll get their very first car out of it and they'll be able to say that they've gotten something from their father. Um, and maybe they won't. And if they don't, it's okay. It's okay. I'll handle it. I'll, I'll, I'm saving right now. You know, I want my boys to be able to go to college. So I'm saving and they have me. So if we can count on no one else, they can count on me. I'm here. I'm doing it. I'm going to make this work. I don't care what happens. This is not taking me down. Anyway, so I just wanted to clarify that. If you have any other questions, I know that that video yesterday was long and very, very jumbled up. I was, it's, you know, when you get emotionally charged, it just, it screws with my brain, you know, like I just, I just lose it. So uh, feel free to put down in the comments um, if you had any other questions with regards to that video. I would love to clarify anything. Um, everything with regards to this topic right here about this policy, um, a lot of it is hearsay um, besides the factual things that I got from the deputy that works at the coroner's office. Um, everything else, I really don't know. It's just somebody who's called and said, hey, this is what's going on, or this is what they're doing, or this is what they're saying. So it's all hearsay, um, and it's it's kind of, it, I mean, it's hardcore because like, you wonder, you know, like, what's really going on with this? Like, I, and, and since they don't talk to me, I don't know. But I chalk it up to this. If it was meant to go to the voice, it would and it's not, and it's not going to, and I'm okay with that. So anyways, uh, I'm getting ready to go have breakfast with my daughter. I have a 21-year-old daughter, and I'm so excited. I love spending time with my children, so I will talk to you all later. Bye.